invertebrate. What does that mean? It means an animal without a backbone. Animals either have a backbone or they don't. If an animal does not have a backbone, then it is called an invertebrate. Let's have a look at marine animals with no backbones. Crabs, shrimp, and lobster, nudibranchs, flatworms, and sea hares. These are all invertebrates. Comb jellies, squid, coral, and anemones. Sea stars are invertebrates, and sea cucumbers too. Can you believe that almost every animal in the entire world is an invertebrate? They live without a backbone to support them. Many invertebrates are soft and squishy because they have no bones or cartilage. Instead, many have a water-like skeleton to support them. These are called hydrostatic skeletons. Hydro means water. Look at this jellyfish moving about. Jellyfish are almost all water. They move about by squeezing their bell. This propels them along. The bell is the thin membrane that makes up the main part of the jellyfish. How do other invertebrates move? Sea stars have at least five arms, yet they actually move about using thousands of tube feet. Shrimp, lobster, and crabs have five pairs of legs. Watch as they crawl about. Barnacles are like crabs, but don't move at all. Once they find a home on the reef, they stay and filter feet all day long. Their shell becomes a permanent part of the reef. Squid and cuttlefish are one giant muscle. Watch them as they jet about. Some cuttlefish can even crawl. Octopus are soft and squishy and can make themselves huge as they balloon and feed. Or they can squeeze themselves into teeny tiny crevices. Worms live everywhere. Some are long and others flat. Some dig holes. Some look like Christmas trees. No matter how worms appear, it is clear they don't have skeletons for support. When they get scared, they can hide away and retreat their soft bodies into a hole. Sea cucumbers look like bizarre flowers. Watch here as it places its arms inside its mouth and sucks off all the teeny tiny plants and animals. Animals without backbones are amazing to watch. All the different ways they have adjusted to living in the sea. Now that you have viewed a few of these, let's dive into your imagination and choose one to be. Which invertebrate would you pick and how would you move around?